is a little round planet of a really nice guy. Some special jingle jangle wishes. You betcha. I want a supersonic springy ball, a jetomatic jumper, a space bar gladiatron, a squirty oh, bumper, oh, and a bag of chewy space balls. <laughs> Jiggling jangles with a list that long. I hope you've been a good little butt this year. Uh huh. I tidied my room a gazillion times, helped dad in the yard, I even let Billy Bevel play with my space floor. Yep, I've been super duper extra good. Well, most of the time. Old Clanky will see what he can do. Gee, thanks, Clanky. Yay! <laughs> you turn next, Candy Cane. <laughs> Clanky Claws! Me love you. Well, bless my boosters. I'll bet little Zoe's got all kinds of extra jingle jangle wishes, too. Me wish a bowling ball for Mommy. Tappy shoes for Pappy. Toy for Spot. Okey-dokey, Clanky. Ho, ho, ho. Okey-dokey, Sugar Plum. Okey-dokey, Zoo. Give me a big, holy smile. Giddy, giddy up. So, did you ask Clanky for a rockin' rockin' pony? Uh-uh, me forgot. What? You have to tell him. How else is he gonna know what you want? Clanky know everything. No, he doesn't. You have to tell him. That's why we went to Chillsville. Planky, no. Hmm. Don't you worry, Zoe. I'll send him a letter right now and tell him you want a pony. It'll be okie dokie. You'll see. Dear Planky, all Zoe wants for Jingle Jangle is a... Oli, Zoe, time to decorate the gingerbread man. Gingerbread! Easy does it, Zoe. 
Come on, Janglekin. Betty time, sleepy time, jammy time, too. Gotta be full of bounce for the big day. I can't wait to see what Clanky brings us. Remember, Clanky, they just want Rocket Pony. <gasps> the winner! Rockety, rockety, rockety pony! How's Clanky gonna know what Zoe wants? I'll just have to wait up and tell him when he comes. Clanky, Clanky, over here! Come on, boy! Here goes! Oh, no! Uh-oh, he's already gone! Now whirlies, now curly, now zoom and kaboom! On Turbo, on Blaster, on Sonic and Boom! Zoe's never gonna get her rock and rocket pony now, Mr. Snowy. If only I could go to Chillsville and tell Clanky. Wow! Did you see that? A shooting star! Mr. Snowy? You feeling okie dokie? Hey! <laughs> Snowflakes, what you doing way out here, Oli Poli? I forgot to send Zoe's letter. I stayed up, but I missed you. Now Zoe will never get her jangle wish. I'm sure I had a wee Zoe Poli on my list. But she didn't tell you her wish, and I didn't send you her letter. So, how could you? Let's see now. The Poli house. Mom, Dad, Oli, oh, here it is. Zoe Poli. One rockin' rocket pony. That's it. That's what so wished for. <laughs> Bless my boosters. Ain't that a jolly jangle? But how did you know she wanted a rockin' rocket pony? Planky knows all there is to know about jingle jangle wishes. You do? Uh, you betcha. <laughs> <gasps> Time you were in your own little Betty, Oldie Poly. Come on, I'll take you home. How'd you like to fire up the old boosters? Okie dokie! Now whirly, now curly, now zoom and kaboom! On turbo, on blaster, on sonic and boom! Oh my! Ah. This is the best jingle jingle day ever! Oh, holy! Get it, pony? <laughs> See? Clanky knows that we wish, Zoli. You're right, Zoli. Clanky knows just about everything in the whole holy universe. Happy holidays! And may all your wishes come true. <laughs> like my shoes are going to weld to the sidewalk. Demon Saturns, it's so hot you could oopsie daisy. <laughs> so hot you could fry an egg on the sidewalk? <laughs> breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> oh, guess I better get a broom. Or a spatula. <laughs> Whose turn is it to restart the leaf blower? Yours. I think it's yours. I started it the last time. Well, I got the blower in the first place. You're closer. And not. R2. Sounds like somebody's getting hot under the collar. I'm too hot to move. <laughs> <laughs> 
Me too. <laughs> I think maybe you two need to cool it. We can't. It's too hot. You gotta take your mind off the heat. If you wanna be cool, you gotta think cool. But how? Hmm. I'll think of something to cool us all down. Just need a little poly know-how. ourselves a slippery slidey winterfest party. Doubles ice skating champs. Ice skating! That's really cool! Skatey, skatey, skatey! <laughs> Whee! It's skating time! Mr. Snowy Goalie. Hang on a sec. Looks like the old slippery slidey Winterfest party is coming to an end. Aww. <laughs> it sure was an extra fun day. It sure was. You were pretty smooth on those skates, Sweetums. Oh, 
You weren't so bad yourself, Slick. Oh. Key workers, you are right, Mr. Polly. We even forgot all about the heat wave. We just had to think cool. <sighs> it's getting kind of chilly out here. <sighs> so we cold. Me too. I'm freezing. What are we gonna do? We have to take our minds off the cold. If we want to be warm, we gotta think warm. <sighs> now this is thinking warm. <laughs> Smells tummy tickling tasty. Ho oh, there, old boy. I haven't read those funnies yet. Jumpin' Jupiters, will you look at this? Ice cream planet discovered. An amateur bully stargazer has discovered a planet made completely out of ice cream. Wow! An ice cream planet! That would have to be the bestest, yummiest place to live in the whole round universe. Not better than right here in Bullyville. Totally Ice Cream Planet? You betcha, Mom. Wow. I sure wish we could go to the Ice Cream Planet. <sighs> Yummy. We'd be the first bots from our planet to ever go there. Do you think we could go there sometime, Dad? <laughs> I don't see why not. Me, no. Hello <laughs> there. <laughs> Sounds like a scrumptious idea. But right now, it's Betty time. Night, night, Oli. It sure would be nifty to have all the ice cream you want any old time you feel like it. Lemon sherbet snowballs. Double crunch chocolate chipper. Fairy berry frozen pops. Just woke me up from the bestest dreams, oh. Icy cream, icy cream. Up and at Oli. Time to get bundled up in your warm duds. We're going to the ice cream planet. For real? You betcha. Last one to the car is a melted scoop. Yippee! Ice cream, ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. That ought to do it. Feel okie dokie, Koopy? <laughs> Souvenirs. Thanks, Mom. Keep warm. An ice cream planet's gotta be cold. <laughs> Bring me back some double chocolate minty chip. Have fun. There it is, Dad. <gasps> the ice cream planet. This ice cream is sure slippery sliding. Woohoo! Woohoo! Whee! Again! Again! <laughs> Sorry about the rough landing. Well, isn't this a sight? Amazing!
Crunch, pecan, double chocolate chip, vanilla, licorice delight, and molten milk ball shakes. Oh. <laughs> Look out! Whoopsie! Mmm, <laughs> chocolate! Souvenir. Gotta find something extra scrumptious for Mom, too. <laughs> hmm. I think someone's all scooped out. Ooh. May want to go home. I'm kind of all scooped out, too, Dad. This place is sure extra tasty, but I couldn't try another flavor. Thanks for bringing us here, Dad. Chocolate minty chip. Just for you, huh? My favorite. Thank you, Sweetums. Oh. Only? Why, well, I wasn't sure you ever want to come home. It was the yummiest, funnest place ever, Mom. But it's sure nice to be back. Howdy, Only. I heard you went to the Ice Cream Planet. How was it? Did you have a great time? What was your favorite flavor? <laughs> I brought you a souvenir. For me? Yep. Gee, world occurs. Thanks, Ollie. You can decide what's the bestest flavor yourself. Mmm, strawberry's my favorite. No, I'd have to say vanilla chip is my favorite. Hey, rainbow rocket crunch bar? That's definitely my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That we heard? A fallen baby star is headed right for Polyville. <laughs> starry, baby, starry. Aww. Can you see it, Dad? <laughs> Aww. That little pee wee? Why, he's just an itty bitty star. Want a look see? Aww. He's so cute. So we look. So we look. Here you go, Zoe. <laughs> Gee, Starry's lost from his mom and dad. Think he'll be okay? Poor little thing. I sure hope so. Poor little bitty Starry. Don't be sad, Zoe. It'll be all right. You know, falling stars are lucky. You're supposed to make a wish on them. I 
time to polish the bowling balls. Star landed yet. So we make wish for poor little baby Starry. I know how you feel, Zoe. <sighs> I was up half the night worrying about that little star. We interrupt the regular scheduled program to bring you the star report. The little lost baby star has entered our planet atmosphere and is due to land at any moment. Great rolling donuts. You don't suppose... It couldn't be. I wonder if it's Starry! Gee, world occurs! The baby star landed smack dab in our front yard! Oh, golly! So <laughs> we wish come true! Hush, Spot, don't scare him. Poor little thing. Wow, Zoe. You wish that baby star would land in our yard? Yep. <laughs> It's okay, Starry. Don't be afraid. Oh. I think he misses his mom and dad. There, there, little star. We'll figure out some way to get you home. It's okay, baby Starry. Track that little star's path with my telescope. He's headed straight for your... <gasps> what? Crashing cosmos! What? He's right here in your kitchen! He's lost. He's lonely. He's sad. Oh, well, I bet he is. Why, well, he's zillions of miles away from home and all. Only... Starry gotta get home. I know, Zoe. Now, let's see. Oh, no! Gosh, I forgot all about polishing that silly ball. Yeah, that ball must be halfway out of the galaxy by now. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Sounds like a rip-snorting idea to me. You're right, Ole. If we crank up the old bowling ball buffer and turn it into a launcher, we can probably catapult the little guy into space. Right about here. And whoever takes him can float right back with my outer space umbrella. <laughs> Who's gonna take him back? Uh, well... Well, uh, it is my umbrella. Baby Starry, don't you, Zoe? Baby Starry likes Zoe, too. Looks like Dad and Pappy are about ready to send Baby Starry home. Ready? Yuppers! Baby Starry got go home now. Have a fun trip, Baby Starry. Okie dokie. Here comes Pappy. 
Whatever you're with, the ones you love. Welcome home, Starry! Gingerbread house. <laughs> I reckon that someone's up to jingle jangle hijinks. that Clanky Claws would leave a zillion toys under the tree. Oli, Clanky Claws doesn't always buy everything you ask for. He doesn't have to buy them, because Clanky Claws can build anything, can't he? since I was just a little sprocket myself. <laughs> hey, you want to clip old Starry on the tree this year, Oli? Yeah! Why don't we let Zoe put Starry on the tree this year? Me hang Starry! Take it slow, Zoe. Zoe. Oh. an accident. Poor Starry. Oh, happy fix. Uh, the pieces are too old and brittle to put back together. I don't think anyone can fix old Starry. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, let me talk to you. Poor thing. I know you didn't mean to break, Starry Zoe. Sometimes old things break easy. That's just the way things are. Poor Starry. Bedtime! Bedtime! <laughs> Bedtime, sleepy time, jammy time too. Come on, Zoe. We gotta get to bed before Clanky Claus comes. Clanky Claus fix Starry? No, oh, I don't think so. I'll bet. Langy Claws can fix it. Psst, Zoe! Oli? Shh! We can get Clanky Claws to fix Starry for us. He can fix anything. Clanky Claws fix Starry? You betcha. All we gotta do is write him a note and tell him what happened. Write note. This has gotta work. Jingle Jingle Day wouldn't be the same without Pappy's story on top of the tree. Oh, oh, oh. 
Here I go! Mm. Weeping lug nuts. Has this spout shrunk? Uh. Oh. trying to sneak up on me. Don't they know all little bots fall asleep on Jingle Jangle Night? Whether they want to or not? <laughs> mm. oh. Oh. Delicious. Even better than last year. Sorry, Poochums. No time to play. Clanky Claus has got toys to deliver. <laughs> Presents. Bots. For good little bots. <laughs> that about does it. Ho, ho, ho. Dee dokey. Oh, what have you got there, little fella? Dear Clanky Claus, can you please fix our Pappy's favorite old ornament named Starry? It got broken by an accident and made us all super sad. P.S. If we have to give up some of our toys so you can fix Starry, we don't mind. Your pals Oli and Zoe. P.S.S. Happy Jingle Jangle Day. We love you. Well, I'll be be jangled. <laughs> If this isn't the sweetest note old Clanky Claus has ever read. Thanks for getting me this note, Spot. You're a swell pup. Now back to sleep. Oh, goodness. That's a pretty bad break story. Let's see what old Clanky can do. Just a decoration, Ole. He's not real. He sure seems real to me. <laughs> Too bad we can't make Mr. Snowy out of real snow. Have you ever seen snow, Dad? Uh huh. What's it like? Real snow is a wonderful thing, Ole. Makes the whole world wondrous and wide and full of fun. You can go sledding and sliding and skating and even make snowballs. Too bad it never snows in Polyville. Almost never. Way back when I was knee-high to a sprocket ranch, Mr. Sonny blew a bulb, and before you could say jump and jack hammerfrost, 
It got so cold, it snowed. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that should do it. Okie dokie. Dad, where's his lighty up nose? Bust my bolts. Now where is his lighty up nose? <laughs> 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 Seems Spot has a nose for noses. How about you doing the honors this year, Ole? You betcha, Dad. Presto, Mr. Snowy the Snowbot. Our old friend, Mr. Snowy. Snowy, 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 snowy. Sure is beautiful. Now, if it just snow for real. Snow. Sure would be swell to play in it. Yeah. Snow. <sighs> just once. enough to freeze your gears. Gee, whirlickers! Look, so It's snowing! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Snowy. I didn't mean to... Uh... There you go. Oops. <laughs> How's about like this? Come on, Zoe. I think he wants us to go sledding. Yay! Yay! But we've got no sled. Wow! A genuine glittering glider. Do you think it can fit three? Mr. Snowy, I guess me and Zoe have to be heading home. You feel lonely? Mr. Snowy be sad. Hey, I've got an idea. No peeking till I tell ya. Okie dokie, you can look now. Now you'll always have somebody to keep you company. Guess we just gave. 
gave Snowy the best kind of jingle jangle present, so a friend. Jangly, jangly, friend for Snowy. <sighs> snow, snow, snow. Well, Oli, seems Mr. Sunny blew a bulb. It's snowing! No, no, no! Snowflakes are flying like soap powder on wash day. You've never seen anything like it. <laughs> yeah! <Whee! laughs> wow! Golly! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Snowy. Ready for our favorite Jingle Jangle Day story? Ready! 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 Okie dokie. <coughs> Twas Jingle Jangle Day's Eve when... Wait! Hot talkie! Hot talkie! You're absolutely right, Zoe. We can't start the story without our traditional extra chock-a-block hot chocolate. Hot Chucky! Hot Chucky! Hot Chucky! Everyone happy? Hey, what about the marshmallows? You're right, dear. We can't forget the marshmallows. Radio you are, Zoe. <coughs> jingle jangle day's eve. Jangle 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 jangle. <laughs> Twas jingle jangle day's eve. When all round the pot, not a buddy was blinking, not chilly, no spot. Box socks were bolted to the mantle quite tight, in hopes that clanky claws would drop in that night. Oli and Zoe were tucked in their beddies, while visions of candy curls whirled in their headies. Mom ratcheted a kerchief, I bolted my cap, while Betty tucked us in for a long holy nap. <laughs> when from up on the lid came a bolt rattling roar, I flopped right off Betty and boinged across the floor. <laughs> boing, boing, boing. Ah, oof. Whoopsie doodles. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie doodles is right. Sorry, Dad. Zoe and I got carried away there. Story, story. Yeah, get back to the story, Dad. <coughs> well, I. Uh... <laughs> you ran right to the door as quick as can be. It threw itself open, and what did you see? Clanky claws. <laughs> Not yet, Zoe. I ran right to the door, as quick as can be. It threw itself open, and what did I see? What made my eyes nearly burst from their sockets? Lucky claws! Not yet. First, a glittering <gasps> ship powered by eight super rockets. Lucky claws! I remember now. From his twinkling eye and bright shiny schnoz, I knew straight away it was old Clanky Claws. The rockets they sputtered as upward they strained, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now whirly, now curly, now zoom and kaboom. On turbo, on blaster, on sonic and boom. To the top of the pot, to the top of the spout. Rocket on up and let clanky claws out. So up to the housetop the rockets cha-chug with old clanky claws and the toys that he loved. 
He was roly-poly, around bot and stout. Was no way he'd fit down the thin poly spout. So, hmm, I, I guess he had another cookie and went straight to the bubbles. Huh? <laughs> Dad, that's not how it goes. What about the twisty noggin? Twisty noggin, twisty noggin! <laughs> well... Right you are, kids. It's twisty noggin indeed. A clink of his gears and a twist of his noggin. He zipped down the spout as if on a toboggan. <laughs> Dad raced to the fireplace, and what did he see? Old Clanky's black boots sticking out the chimney. I gave a great tug on old Clanky's boot, and out he then popped with a bomb and a poop. With creaky old springs and a belly so heavy, he bounced when he laughed <laughs> like a 55 Chevy. A fresh load of rusty parts he had in his pack. No, 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 no! <laughs> no, Rusty! Toys, toys! Really? He didn't bring rusty parts? No! Toys! <laughs> Dad, Clanky Claus builds toys in his workshop for good little bots, and he leaves them under the tree. He only leaves rusty parts for bad little bots. Mm, are you sure? <sighs> Just read the book, Dad. <laughs> okay, dokie. <clears throat> a fresh load of toys he had in his pack, and he blasted them out with a clickety-clack. In the dark of the room, we could just barely see. And Clanky sent presents everywhere but the tree. They point and they bonged and they banged everybody. In the dark of the night, they even boing me. When do Zoe and I come in? Only Zoe, only Zoe! Right, now be patient. Then Ole and Zoe slowly crept across the floor. Clanky peered through the dark of the living room door. He humped and harumphed and then shook his round head. All good little bots should be up in their beds. We know, said the kids. Evening's not very bright. We wanted to give you a rolling nightlight. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. Old Clanky Claus was touched from his toes to his chin. Here on Jingle Jang's Eve, some presents for him. He flicked on the light, gave the old tree a tweak, and filled all the box socks, then turned with a creak. Kick-starting the engines in his pointy old toes, then with a sly smile up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his ride, his old joints a-clinkin', away he awoosh, his new nightlight a-blinkin'. As he roared out of sight, he said loud and clear, Jingle jangle to all and good holiday cheer!